Today I am very excited because I am on my way right now to visit my friend and YouTube heavyweight Robbie Knox for an exclusive private tasting of his brand new just released beer Valencian Tip Run. Can't wait! As you may know, Robbie Knox and some bloke called Mike, who actually I do also know, have set up the Bin Day Brewing Company. Look, I've got the t-shirt. Last week, in collaboration with Doc's Beers in Grimsby, they released their first ale, Valencian Tip Rum. There were only about 5,000 cans of this nectar available, but because I've got what the Romanians call pile, I was able to secure myself six cans of the delicious stuff before most of the riffraff piled in. But I've held off opening them in favour of having my very first sip while sitting alongside Binday Brewing Company Supremo and YouTube darling Robbie Knox himself, who, let us not forget, would have no career if it wasn't for me. Just changed trains, so I'm on the last lap now, I'm not far to go, can't wait. I mean, Robbie's just such a legend, isn't he? And it's such an honour to be doing this, it really is. But we have some top banter as well. Right, just need to walk down to Robbie's house now. But listen, there is something I didn't actually tell you. Um, I haven't actually been invited down uh, and, I, and I haven't told Robbie that I'm coming. Um, I just thought it'd be a really good video so I just thought I'd just do it. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine about it because, you know, we're, we're, I mean, we're practically best mates and mates can just turn up at houses and stuff, can't they? And, you know, so I'm sure it, it'll be fine, you know, we'll love it, we'll love it. And I'm sure like, just a few minutes we'll be sitting down and having a couple of cans of Valencian tip run and having a great laugh. Right, you know, with the new with the new beer coming out and everything, I had this idea that I could come down and we could taste it. I could taste it for the first time and all that, you know. And just... You didn't call or anything. No, I just yeah. thought I'd just drop around out of the blue. Might be fun, you know. Do a video. Or... Right, okay. You know, for my channel. Yeah. Well, you're filming it now. Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be nice. It'd be quite funny, to sort of surprise you, you know. And so, no, wait. Well, Robbie, look. look. Right, well, um, of course, Robbie was only joking, so we're just going to wash it around. But he's let me into his beautiful garden, mm -hmm. and um, we're going to try some of these beers. What, t t t tell us about it, Robbie. Tell us this, this sort of story. What, why did you go for it's Valencia? So I started a, um, a brewery called mm -hmm. Bin Day Brewing Company um, with, with our friend Mike, and um, the plan is to be the first YouTube brewery. So we put everything we do online, we collaborate with YouTubers, brew beers and stuff like that. And this is our first beer that we've done, which is a collaboration with Doc's Beer, which is an excellent craft brewery in Grimsby and a great bunch of people. And it's called Valencian Tip Run. Brilliant. Well, as I said earlier, I genuinely haven't tasted this yet. So no. I've, I've, I've had it at home for a few days, yeah. uh, but I haven't tasted it. So um, I've come here, you've, you've supplied these for us. So we yep. go up to... Yeah, four by 10 though, isn't it? All oh, right, this isn't a freebie. Oh. Right. Get a couple of extra cans out of this. Got a business run, mate. Uh, I've only got 20. That'd be fine. Right, okay. Well, yeah, probably worth it. Um, 
Right. Let's get stuck in. Oh, I love okay. the can as well. Who, who designed the can? Uh, I, I, I chose the photo and the name. Very nice. Yes. Are we sharing a can or do you want to well, open two cans? Yes, uh, we can open two cans. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? Let's do it. That's £8.20 oh. then. <laughs> Lovely colour. So it's got orange zest in it, yeah. as well as the usual ingredients. I saw your video of you and Mike uh, it, yeah. working quite hard with the orange zest. That, was a that looked like a long job. Yeah, it was a lot of it. Mike did a lot of it. Yeah. Of course, that's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's really nice. It's all right, isn't it? It really, it's, it's really refreshing. Yeah, it's a really good summer's yeah. drink. Yeah. Well, it's not a sunny day today, but... Because no, but it's quite warm. We knew it was going to come out around the Euros in the summer. We thought it was quite yeah. good, so nice, nice to watch the football drink. And uh, it's got that that slightly bitter tang of the orange peel, I think. Yeah, it's got a bit of that. that it's got, I think it's got a slight, a slight really of nice. the malt. It gives it sort of little biscuity quality as well, I think, maybe. So altogether, I guess you're talking like one of those orange club biscuits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've yeah. always wanted one of them to be turned <laughs> into a beer, yeah. Yeah, that's what everyone does. Yeah. So everyone does at the pub. No, no surprise. Even there. when I was a kid, I was thinking it'd be really nice if this was a beer. Now I say that, it does taste a lot like orange club. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. So, what about the plans for the future? What are you? What, what, this is obviously the first one. It's gone very well. It's the first you, one. You sold out already. Um, when, by the time this is out, yeah. I imagine we will have sold out. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a few. They're basically. It's gone so quickly. They're going around the warehouse checking for anywhere they might have some lying around to try and get them online. So it's all gone. <laughs> the longer term aim is to open a physical brewery um, in Norwich. That's the plan, and okay. it will be. Um, yeah, and the, and the idea of that is that because we want it to be like the YouTube community brewery, we're going to rather than get investors just from the wider world, we're going to get try and crowdfund it through YouTube as well. I know lots of YouTubers have mentioned that they want to invest in it and own a bit of the brewery, um, but yeah, also open it up to viewers because yeah. you can do crowdfunding things now. We're going yeah. to own a bit of the brewery for as little as 20 quid, yeah. so literally anyone pretty much that can own 20 it. quid there. Well, yeah. another one now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not, that's not, you don't get any that. Um, so yeah, you can do that, and then if it does well, and make some money, then it's not just me and Mike who make some money, it's hopefully everyone is involved. But that's the long-term plan. But the, the general plan is then, once you've got a brewery and a space, you can then do collaborations with YouTubers, so okay. yeah. Jack May or Max Fosh, or Blue Van Man, or whoever, or you, to come and brew a, um, brew a beer. It's a great idea. Really look forward to seeing what you come up with next. I mean, this is delicious though. It's really, it is really good, I'm really nice pleased with it. Beer, yeah, because yeah. it would have been a bit awkward if it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? If, if yeah, I had to it try and... it would, clearly it would have sold whatever, because <clears throat> yeah. everyone just wants to have that first but taste. Also, but also, then you've got, if like, I can't go, if the doctor have made like 5,000 cans or whatever it yeah. was, sort of thing like that, I, you can't then go, oh, it's actually rank. <laughs> it's a bit Sorry. awkward. But yeah, so yeah, no, really pleased with it. I think the orange comes across really well without it being really overpowering. It, yeah. it just gives a nice little orangey taste to it. And yeah, happy days. So unfortunately, if any of you are watching that uh, I didn't know about Robbie, which I think is extremely unlikely, you probably can't get any of this run. But uh, try but try the doc's website. Try, you never yeah. know. And go to the shop and the collab section. Yeah, and have a look. It might still be there. Um, but yeah, you might, you might have missed out. Yeah. But you're doing quite a lot of other fun stuff as well. You've done some nice um, publicity shots with another YouTuber called Lucy. Yeah, Lucy, Creative Karma SMI. I've done a walk with videos before. I sent her the t-shirt and because she's nice, she just did a little photo shoot of her looking nice. glamorous and, and pretty in them. Yeah. Um, but then I sent them to you and yeah. I said, I gave Lucy a t-shirt and she yeah. did this photo shoot. Why didn't you do one? Mm. You sent me probably the most disgusting photo I've ever seen. <laughs> I think I look quite good in it. Yeah. Good, good for you. I mean, yeah. the world would probably disagree. But yeah. <laughs> if I'd have shaved my legs first, it might have helped. I, I don't think anything would no. help. No, no, no. I think I would have, I think I would have only made it worse. Yeah. You're really stuck at this YouTube lark, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had that little break a couple of weeks ago, but. I, I think you know. A couple of people said, Are "You gonna, you know, what, would you give, would you give it up?" 
but I just think, well, it's good. I'm going to, I'm going to do it while I enjoy it. Yeah, that's the thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah well, I think I think you're really good at it. I think it's sort of very awesome, entertaining. Yeah. I think there's people that really. I know quite a lot of people on my stuff do mention you and say yeah. what they like your videos. Yeah. So you've got that. Niche it's, group. it's nice. I get, I, you know, I almost never get a down vote, and and it's there's sort of this solid sort of group of people that seem to watch every week yeah. and loads and give nice comments. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice. It, it'd be nice to kind of get to the next level. But I think we're doing this these kinds of videos, sort of lifestyle stuff, and just like you know, and especially mine, it's tend to be whatever I've thought of each week. Yeah, there's no niche there. So. No, that's, I think it's the hardest way to grow numbers wise because. Yeah. Like with me, I always think if you've got the people who come and you watch a skiing video and go, "Oh, great, I like skiing," and they'll watch it and then they'll go, "Oh, bloke taking the bins out, unsubscribe," yeah. sort of thing like that. And it's not, and, and equally, the people who watch a gardening video and don't like the skiing stuff, so, so it doesn't doesn't make as much sense, I think, to people. But I think that when people do get involved, then they become much more, you get know, a much stronger link with people yeah. there, and it, and it sort of helps in the long term, even if it takes longer to yeah. get to that level. But my view was always like. Hope to make some money from it within five to ten years mm. is always my plan. Um, because as long as you're, if you're making things and some people like it, then it makes sense that there will be other people who like it. They just haven't seen it. Yet. Yeah, yeah that sort yeah. of thing. So just keep going, keep going eventually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone in the world keep, will watch. keep hammering away. Yeah, yeah, um, enjoying it. This is nice. I was remembering actually, uh, so I haven't seen you much because of the pandemic. Um, the last time we were having a beer in your garden, oh, yeah. which was very nice, was when we did the video for Beer Hawk, yep. and we explained beer. Yep. And uh, that was that video where you unexpectedly chucked a glass of beer in my face. Big up to you, Beer Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, you, you scared me. Yeah, I, 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 I sort of had a vague idea you might do something, but I wasn't really predicting it, and also, it, it re, you know, I wasn't acting there. That really hurt because it got right in my eyes. And uh, and I thought, well, as long as it's funny for the for the video, you know, I don't really mind. You know, whatever, whatever it takes. Oh. So, Dan, what are you doing? It's, this is just for that that bit at, at the end of the video. You know, so I can put my sub button up and the and the, also the link to last week's video. Because it didn't do take? that well. It's like 20 seconds, something like that. All right, 20 seconds and get out. And if I nearly glassed you then. <laughs> Quite close to getting you in the face. I, I thought you probably wouldn't do it with your beer and, and your t-shirt on. No, it's paid for a it's fine. <laughs>